Hey guys, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach and today we are going to continue on with the AP Calculus 2015 free response questions. So let's get into it. Um, as a side note, I have I am starting to use this GeoGebra graphing calculator. Well, I just loaded it just now. So we'll see if that helps me with my graphing calculator problem when we do some of these and see if um, it works. It's not the same as your TI-80 whatever calculators, graphing calculators or whatever you're using, but Hopefully it'll be close enough that you can kind of see how I would input things in. All right, so the rate at which rain water flows in the drain pipe is modeled by this function, cubic feet per hour. T is measured in hours, and zero is less than or equal to T is less than or equal to eight. The pipe is partially blocked, allowing water to drain at the other end of the pipe at a rain model. So I got rain coming in and rain coming out. There are 30 cubic feet of water in a pipe at at time t equals zero. How many cubic feet of rain fire flow into the pipe? So they want to know how much is flowing in for part A. So flowing in um, is this one during the eight interval time interval. So we got to do the integral of the rate from zero to eight of r of t dt. Zero to eight you actually, uh, oops, not infinity, but eight. You probably don't have to write this step out like this. But I write it out just so I'm very clear as to what I'm integrating over. And let's take a look. So I'm going to do the integral of 20 times sine of x squared. divided by 35 dx actually I don't know the notation of this how do I how do I do this um, and then command should have probably figured out how to do this thing. Integral command start x value n value. So you do integral of this. Um, give it with respect to the variable. Oh, start value n value zero eight. Seventy six point five seven. All right, cool. I just didn't put the bounds in. 76.57 and the rate was uh, cubic feet per hour and I met, integrated over eight hours so this is just cubic feet feet cubed okay B oh, that's right it looks about right is the amount of water in the pipe increasing or decreasing at time t equals three hours give a reason for your answer well, the flow into the 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 flow is equal to how much is coming in minus how much is leaving, right? So R of T minus D of T. So um, uh, if this is greater than zero, then uh, more water is coming in than leaving, hence we would be increasing. Um, and if it's less than zero, then um, uh, more water is flowing out. So this is 20 sine t squared over 35 minus um, minus 0 0.04 t cubed plus 0.4 t squared plus 0.96 t. And then I want to be a flow at 3 at time t equals 3. I just plug in 3 to all of these and I decide whether or not it's positive or negative. Um, so let's do this. So I don't want to plot, I just want to simply calculate. I want to do 20 times sine of 3 
squared divided by 35 minus minus 0 0.04 times 3 um, cubed plus 0 0.4 times 3 squared plus 0.96 times 3. And I get this is equal to minus 0.31. So it's less than 0, so it's decreasing. Okay. See, at what time is the amount of water of the pipe at a minimum? Justify your answer. Okay, so the amount of water, let's find the equation for the amount of water, is given by, well, let's see, I'm starting out at 30 cubic feet plus the integral of the flow rate, which is R of T minus D of T dt right this is sort of this is this is the amount of water at a given time i'm i'm starting at 30 cubic feet and i'm adding how much is flowing in flowing in minus is flowing out and i'm integrating that right so um in order to find uh, at a minimum i got to know the critical points the critical points are when this is zero and when i take the derivative of this it's simply derivative of 30 is zero plus the derivative of this by fundamental theorem of calculus, this is R of T minus D of T. So I want to know when this is equal, or in other words, when R of T is equal to D of T, right? And so then I'm going to take these two functions and I'm setting equal to each other and I'm going to find what T is equal to. Okay, so let's go to our graphing calculator. And um, there's a couple of ways um, you can do it. Maybe there's a solver uh, directly here I'm going to do some plotting instead. Um, let's see, delete that one, delete that one. So let's input in the, our first function is um, um, let's see, twenty times sine of x squared divided by thirty-five. Okay, minus um, minus 0 0.04x squared plus 0.4x, oh, oh, this is going to be cubed. Maybe I shouldn't have deleted those, but that's fine, 0 0.96x. Okay, so I, I what I did was I plotted the difference, and now I'm going to look at when they, um, when they cross each other. Well, I have t equals 0 as a possibility. I have t equals, let's see, how can I find um, show trace root 3.27. I got t is also equal to 3.27. Um, and any other times? At, this is past time 8 over here. This 9.46, so I don't need to find it. So 3.27. Okay. I also want to check the endpoints. So I want to check t equals 8. So I kind of make this table. t, 0, 3.27, and 8. Well, because th this is 3. Point, is, th these are just the local minimums, but to find the actual exact minimum, which is when they say at a minimum, um, I need to know a of t at each of these times, and then I decide whichever one is the sum. So at time zero, we already know it's thirty. At times eight, I know um, I've added in this much, so I gotta I gotta still evaluate how much um, I've lost. So let's come back to here and go back to the calculator. Um, Let's see, where is it? Okay, integral. 20 times sine x squared divided by 35 minus, minus 0.04x cubed plus 0.4x squared, oops, plus 0.4x squared plus point zero point nine six x 
Um, and then I want to integrate from 0 to 8, for example, and then add 30 to this. So at 8, I get 48.54. And then the last one I want to do is at the bound 0 to 3.27. I get 27.96. So this one is the absolute minimum. It's 20, so it's 27.96 cubic feet. No, actually, uh, that's they're asking when it is. It's at this time because this is the smallest one. So 3.9 hours, 3.27 hours is at a minimum. Okay, last part, uh, D, a pipe can hold about cubic feet of water before overflowing. For T greater than eight, the water continues to flow into and out of the pipe at the given rates until the pipe begins to overflow. Write, but do not solve an equation involving one or more integrals that gives the time W when the pipe will begin to overflow. Okay, so um, when A of, a of T is equal to, well, when I plug in time W, A of W would equal uh, 50 right when I begin to overflow, right, from this equation. So that's 30 plus the integral from 0 to w, 20 sine t squared over 35 minus, minus 0 0.04 t cubed plus 0.4 t squared plus 0.96 t dt equals 50 okay so we'll just set up that equation I won't do it you could subtract the 30 if you wanted to where this integral was 20 um, but that would be fine I don't need to solve that okay so let's look at how uh, we did here are the scoring guidelines 50 second 50 76.57 that's right um, less than th the amount of part is decreasing so we got that right decreasing um, the amount of water in the pipe is given by this at 3.27 I filled in this table these numbers look correct to me and uh, so the minimum times 3.272 or 271 my calculator didn't do three decimal places I really should have I, I noticed that when I um, when I when when this thing gave me some numbers uh, I really should have considered um, you know, I just didn't want to spend any time at this moment to, you know, maybe there's a way for it to like improve the precision. Advanced. Scripting, I'll click on update graphics. Yeah, there's not an immediate thing for me to improve the um, precision. Oh, here we go, here we go. Three decimal places. So 3.272, okay. So I'll do that next time. Um, and then this is the equation, R of T minus D of T. I actually plugged in R of T and D of T, but they just sort of did that. So yeah. So I think we, we got all of this um, full question, full points there. Um, okay, so thanks for bearing with me and learning how to the, use the geo, GeoGebra uh, calculator there. Um, Please leave a comment, like, or subscribe, and I'll see you in the second for your response question. Thanks.